Hey guys, it's Swamp Tooth here, and I wanted to do a little tutorial on a question I see a lot in the forum, and that's how do I use Guitar Rig 4 and set it to receive MIDI input? So, what I did was I set up a little sample project. I've got an instance of Dimension Pro running, and I've loaded Les Paul Power Chords, which is a pretty good guitar patch. What you want to do, though, is you want to make sure the limiter's on. That's going to help out a lot. And then you want to make sure the volume on the audio track is down slightly because Guitar Rig will add a little bit of overhead. Anyway, let me play a sample. I've got an A major pentatonic scale loaded. Pretty simple, right? Anyway, so one of the first things that you have to do to use Guitar Rig 4 is come up to the Utilities menu and go to the Cakewalk Plugin Manager. Click on that. And then under VST Audio Effects, you'll see Guitar Rig. I've got four and five, let's choose four. And then hit the Plugin Properties button. And then you need to click this option, Configure a Synth. Click OK. Guitar Rig 4 disappears and it goes under the VST Instruments. Now you need to rescan the VST plugins. So let's go ahead and do that. Sometimes you actually need to do that a couple of times. So on the audio track, you want to come to the FX bin, right click, go down to Soft Synths, and my Native Instruments plugins are in this directory, and the guitar rig's not showing up. So what you want to do is come back to Utilities, click the Plugin Manager, and then scan VST plugins again, and that should take care of the problem. Go back to FX, Soft Sense, BSD Plugins, and there's Guitar Rig 4. I'm going to insert that. And there's my plugin of Guitar Rig 4. So it's set up just a little simple thing. Swing down to the filters and something people use a lot, which is a wah pedal. Click on that and drag it into the rack. Click the limiter to turn that on in the guitar rig and that's going to help out a lot. And then to set it up for MIDI, what you do is you click on options and you've got MIDI controllers here. Now what I've got is an Oxygen 49 keyboard set up. So what I want to do is I want to click on this little arrow button, it's a little move button, and drag it over to the wah. And you'll see it mapped a real wah pedal, and that's on. And even though it says controller number 22 on this, it hasn't learned it yet. And this is the problem most people run into. They click on learn, and then they move a controller on their MIDI keyboard and nothing happens. It doesn't learn anything. So let's uncheck learn, minimize guitar rig four. And then the reason for that is if you see this MIDI track, it's got my Oxygen 49 keyboard coming into it, but the output is Dimension Pro. So what you need to do is you need to insert a MIDI track. Set the input to your controller, which in my case is the Oxygen 49, and then the output you want to run to Guitar Rig 4. So now we'll bring Guitar Rig 4 back up. We'll click MIDI Learn, and then I'm going to move the mod wheel. Now you can see I've got the wah pedal moving back and forth as I move the mod wheel. I'm going to close that out. I'm going to run the sample as it is without Guitar Rig 4 running. Pretty decent tone there. Pop the volume up a little bit. Yes it is. I'm going to turn Guitar Rig 4 back on. What I'm going to do is 
So I'm going to enable write automation on this track that's going out. Let's just label this. To TR4 MIDI signals, just so we can keep track of what's going on. And let's go ahead and play this with Guitar Rig 4 on. Now you can hear the filter. So you've got the wire going on. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you want to record the MIDI automation though, got to click the record button. You've got to make sure you've got your input echo on as well. So that everything that's going from your controller actually goes through this MIDI track and into Guitar Rig 4. So let's do a little bit of a record. And you can see the automation data being written down here as CC numbers. And we're going to play that back. So that's it. This is going to be part one in probably a three or four part series. I'm going to show you some other stuff that you can do with Guitar Rig 4. And anyway, that's it. Pretty basic, pretty simple, right? Um, anyway, like I say always,